What's this? The fifth annual Dwayne The Rock Johnson writing competition. Every year they get a famous author to judge that writing competition. Yeah. And they finally sent a letter to yours truly. Why would they send a letter to you unless... Wait a minute. You didn't send in Uncle Tom's Closet, did you? Yeah, of course I did. That's the book I've been working on. Why, why, why? Why would you do that, though? The last fucking 23 rejection letters called that book hideously okay, offensive. Okay, we've been over this, okay? A gay slave on the Underground Railroad. That's not offensive. Listen to what you just said. I wouldn't use that book to teach a slave how to read. Oh, shit. This is from Stephen King. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. He's my favorite. Tell me who he is. Look what I just got, baby. Free bag of Goya beans. The lady at the deli gave them to me because she said I reminded her of her dead son. What's wrong with you, man? Once Stephen King says that your novel is bad, it's all over, man. I tried to be a writer and I failed. Well, I don't think you ever really tried to be a writer, you know? You just kind of didn't read a lot or write a lot. You always kind of just getting high with me. You're not the genius voice of a gay generation. No, it's Jaden Smith. I could have told you that. Hey, listen, man, I just want to let you know that at the end of the month, when the lease is up, I think I'm going to move back in with my parents in Long Island. Just figure things out, you know? If you move back in with your parents, that means I've got to move back in with my old roommate, Dave. You must be the illustrious Michael I hear so much about. Uh, I'm Percival, of course. Pleasure to meet you. Well, can I interest you in some libations? Brandy? Coffee? Placenta? Finest stock around, all right? Tastes like corkwood and lavender. Well, ex excuse the mess, just some manuscripts I've been working on. Oh, that's why you took me here. You must be an editor. <laughs> A clever jest. Now tell me, Michael, which of our contemporaries do you enjoy, other than myself? Well, that's a good question, but you know, I don't really do a lot of reading, per se. I don't want to get influenced by any of our contemporaries. I prefer things like podcasts. I don't know if you've heard of, like, NPR, or anything like that. Is that from Stephen King? Hey, you know, we got one of those in our house. He likes your writing? Oh, yeah, Stephen, that paragon of unoriginal musings. It's always trying to congregate and pick my brain. Tell me, Percy, how are your novels so brilliant? You know, Michael is trying to publish his book right now. Maybe you guys can get together and, you know, help each other out and, you know, bounce ideas off of each other. Hey, well, don't sweat rejection, you know. No one gets accepted their first go-round. Not me, of course. I was published immediately. 
But there are some people that struggle, right? Like Michael Jordan. Ah, yes. The baseball player. I'm sure it's very easy for a straight white male such as yourself to find success in this heteronormative world, you know what I mean? It's a lot harder for somebody with a unique gay perspective, such as myself, to find success. Well, actually, I'm pansexual. You know, sometimes I'm uh, into a woman or a man, and other times to a table. You know, I'd be happy to take a look at your uh, novel, maybe aid with some revisions. Nah, that's okay, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're very busy, you know, can't keep burning the candle at both ends at, uh, 36, 37. 23. Is he panphobic? What the fuck, Percy? I'm sorry, did I do something wrong? Yeah, you did something wrong. You called his favorite writer a hack. I brought him over here so you could cheer him up, and all you did was make him feel bad. Come now. He would have had to have read a book to have a favorite author. There's are books in you people. Why couldn't you just cheer him on and say, you know what, Michael, come on, keep doing it. Come on. I don't want to find this friendship on a bed of lies. What are you talking about? Every friendship is built on lies. That's how you become friends with somebody. I never lie. That's why you don't have any friends. Look at you. You're in an apartment over here jacking off to Pablo Escobar by yourself. You don't have any photos with anyone in them except for you. That's, that's Honoré de Balzac, okay? He's the hardest working writer ever. You know what, that's not the point. How long do you think you can keep it veiled from Michael that he's in a abysmal author. As long as it takes. As long as he likes writing this gay shit. Whatever. How long do you think you keep lying to yourself saying you hate Stephen King but you got a framed letter on his desk? Oh, Stephen's a hack. Stephen King is not a hack! You're a fucking hack! Everybody likes Stephen King! He makes the best movies on fucking TNT! And Michael Jordan is not a baseball player! He's a basketball player! Or a movie star! Only those two are acceptable. Wait, are we still on for dinner Saturday night? I knew I was the voice of a gay generation. Chris, I'm staying, man. I got the best news in the world. Percy sent me this letter. He says my novel's great. I'm gonna be great one day. It's, it's everything's gonna be okay, man. Oh, this is awesome. This is great news. Man. This is so good. I'm glad to hear this. Can I borrow two hundred dollars? <laughs>